Well, the federal government is on pace for a possible shutdown tomorrow night with Congress feuding over what to include in a spending bill that it must pass. One of the biggest obstacles so far is funding for the president's border wall, the one he ran on. Democrats have signaled they're willing to shut down the government to block it. Another big obstacle is whether to fund the hiring of additional border agents. How did opposition to border security become an issue this important worth closing the government over? Congressman Henry Cuellar represents the 28th District of Texas. It's on the border, and he joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. It's a pleasure. Thank you. So I keep hearing this argument, which, no offense, I do not take seriously from Democrats. It just costs too much. Just a waste. You know, the same people totally unwilling to assess, like, head start on effectiveness. I, I, what is it really about the wall that makes Democrats mad enough to shut down the government over? Well, I, I can't speak for everybody, but I'll talk to, you know, I'll say what affects me for somebody that lives on the border all my life. Uh, first of all, we believe in homeland security. We want to see homeland security, but we want to have a, a homeland security that really works. A wall or a fence can't provide some, uh, you know, some tactical assistance. No ifs, no buts, especially in areas like Arizona, we can step from one place to the other place. Right. But we have a river. We have cliffs, uh, cliffs in West Texas. And the thing is, we can secure the border by having technology, aerostats with those 24 hours uh, uh, night and day cameras, sensors, cameras, uh, more uh, personnel. I want to see more Border Patrol. Uh, so we got to know how to secure the border because, after all, we do spend about $18 billion uh, a year on total border security. Here's what I'm confused by. I've spent a lot of time, probably in your district, but right on the border hunting. And there's a lot of border security. You always see Border Patrol jeeps going by. There are blimps in the air right. to provide aerial surveillance. And yet you talk to the landowners there, and they're finding dead people, immigrants, on their property all the time. There, there's no stopping people from coming across. It's not working. So why would we expect it would work under your plan? Well, I'll tell you why. Look, if you equate a border to just border security, that is, if you have a, a wall and you think that's the only place to secure the uh, wall, then we're going to have some differences. And I'll tell you why I think the, uh, the wall has some problems. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about private property rights, number one. But the other thing is, let's say you build the most beautiful wall. Homeland Security will tell you that over 40% of the people that we have here, 11 or 12 million undocumented aliens, came in through a legal permit or visa. So that means if you put the wall up, uh, they're going to fly over, they're going to go on a ship, or they're going to drive across a bridge, uh, and a wall is not going to stop them. So we got to do enforcement also. So we have to look at a comprehensive way of security. I don't think anyone's suggesting the wall is a panacea. It doesn't solve every problem that you have. I guess here's my point. This has been going on for generations. We don't actually know how many people are here illegally. Everyone says 10 to 12. It could be 50. We don't know. That's true. We can only guess. And Congress has done nothing about it. And a lot of people believe it's because employers don't want Congress to do anything about it because they want cheap labor. Why should any voter have trust that you guys are going to actually secure it after failing to do so for, for decades? Sounds like you're pushing for uh, immigration reform. You know, actually, if you look at immigration reform without getting into the details, Three parts. You so should the one that employers looking for cheap labor support. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let, let me go over this. First, uh, border security is one factor. Uh, second of all, you need a guest worker plan that works. And third is, what do you do about the 11 or 12 million uh, undocumented persons that you have? Let me go back to the guest worker plan. Uh, Senator Jeff Fleck and I, for example, we're on the same page on this. If people that come in and work and then they go back, so there are a lot of people that just want to come in and work. You can provide that, uh, you know, that, you know, th those jobs for the people where Americans don't want to do that job. And if Border Patrol will not have to worry about those people that are looking for a job because they're going to go back on a guest worker plan, then they can focus on the bad people that are trying to hurt us. Okay, but with respect, you know, we've been through this conversation literally for a generation on immigration reform, which I think most people support in theory. It's the practice that scares everybody. Congress is unwilling to secure the border. It's a really simple ask from the public to the lawmakers. Tell us who's coming in and out. Account for the people already here. Secure the border. And yet it has never been done. And I actually don't understand why. The only explanation is you don't want it to be done. Well, you know, look, remember, uh, I, when I first started here, uh, the Republicans had the presidency. Uh, just like they do right now. Right. It was President Bush, it was a Republican uh, uh, Congress, both Senate. 
they had an opportunity to do that. But they didn't want to do it because well, their donors well, didn't want them to, as well, you know. I'm not here to flag for the yeah, Republican no, Party. That's no, true. No, no, I'm saying. So I'm saying is that, uh, you know, we got to find a way to do this in a bipartisan way if we talk about immigration reform. Now, border security, this is what we need to look at, in my opinion. Uh, let's listen to the men and women uh, on the border. Uh, men and women on the border, I'm talking about Border Patrol, they will tell you this is where you can have sensors and cameras. There might be some places, and I'll say this very, very diplomatically, there might be some places where you might have some tactical fencing, uh, and Border Patrol will tell you that. I understand that. Uh, but to come in and say you have to build this beautiful wall all from shiny sea to shiny sea, it's not going to happen. Last, last question. You say we need to listen to the Border Patrol. They have a union, right? Yes. Who They, they endorse Hillary? Uh, no. Who they endorse? Uh, they endorse me. <laughs> but they also endorse Donald Trump. Well, yeah, and, what did, and what did he run on? Well, he ran, he ran on, on the wall. He ran he on building ran. a big, beautiful wall that Mexico pays exactly. for. Exactly. So but if we're going to listen to them, why aren't we building the big, beautiful wall that they desire? Hey, but if you listen to Border Patrol, and I work with I them, just and, 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 and listen, election. I just honored 31 uh, Border Patrol in my area that have done a lot to, to secure the border. Uh -huh. If you talk to them, a lot of times they won over time so they can do their job, number one. Number two, they want equipment. No, you're laughing, but it's true. They Talk just endorsed to Donald Trump, who ran on the wall. Yeah, but and the you wall, said we should listen to them, but you're against the, the wall. wall. I'm, I'm getting confused. The wall is the medieval uh, 14th century solution to a 21st century All problem. I'm doing is following your advice and listening to the Border Patrol, who clearly want a wall. Yes. So you, you need to talk to them about this. I have talked to them. I have <laughs> I talked know. to them about okay. it. Congressman, thanks for joining us. And they did get support me. <laughs> I, who could resist?